Hey, um, I uh, posted that I was gonna go uh, live at five o'clock today and then um, I just got a call from one of my team members and I so enjoy uh, speaking with her and chatting with her and catching up and I wanted to help her out with some things and so all of a sudden I went, Oh my goodness it's 5 15 and so um so i wanted to make sure she was covered and now i can be with you guys hello lois and hello shelly so i hope you guys weren't waiting too impatiently um and such too and um i may look a little different with my hair up today and such um it's really hot here finally in minnesota and i wanted to get some gardening done before um i took my shower um and i sweat a lot and my garden needs a lot of attention so i was hoping to uh, uh, get that in before I took my shower for the day and then I realized oh my goodness my time has just went like that today hi Kathy hi Tori um, hi Lisa so um, yeah so I thought maybe coming uh, to you guys later I, I went through a lot of things um, and contacted a lot of you today responded to emails uh, my day has been busy with that which is is great um, that's my job and I love it and you guys know that so um, with that, I want to make sure that my iPad's going here so that I can see comments as I start my card too. And it is so good. Um, but um, with that, I thought maybe coming to you guys later in the day, um, if you guys are working normally, um, sometimes I come on earlier just because it's quiet in the house. And, um, and so I thought, well, maybe if I go a little bit later, it's still going to be quiet in the house because my guys are working. My grandson's not back from the other grandmas yet today. We're kind of tag team. Um, and uh, keeping him busy um, until big sister comes home so hey Robin hi Barb so um, yeah so that's just kind of the way it's been today and the first of the month is usually busy if you normally get my emails you probably got a long one from me today um, just because that new catalog da, 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 da. Um, hopefully a lot of you have them or are getting them I know some of you had a little glitch um, in how, uh, receiving them and I was able to figure out why you didn't and I'm um, getting that straightened out too but um, hopefully you should still be getting them if you haven't yet too so hi Becky um, so yeah I just want to say that this catalog starts on the third and usually Stampin' Up! has like a little bit of downtime the last day to order from the old catalog with the blue cover is June 2nd at midnight and then June 3rd they're hoping around noon or so then this catalog can be ordered from maybe even 11 o'clock so it takes them a little bit to transition from the old catalog to the new and get all the numbers going and even sometimes with that um, they'll get everything set up and then we're so excited we all order jump on and their cr uh, site actually crashes because we're all trying to order at the same time too so but that's that's kind of a good problem um, hey Carol thanks for joining in so um, today what I want to show you is um, and I'll I always do a little sneak peek and then I'll get the camera so that it's not sideways or the wrong way for you guys um, I love um, this new set celebrate sunflowers in the catalog and I can't show you where it's at in the new catalog because I can't open up the the catalog um, and show you guys that until June 3rd it's part of my demonstrator agreement and I want to stick with the rules because I love being a demonstrator it's important to me so anyway uh, this is the card that I'm gonna be making today so I know I said um, Oh, uh, Saturday when I did Dawn's first card for her virtual uh, Facebook party on here that I think that I will love that Forever Fern bundle. It'll be my favorite. Well, then, of course, what happens? We start working with um, something else and we go, oh, my goodness, I think this is going to be my favorite. Um, and with that, too, um, that's kind of why um, when I was talking with my hostess, Dawn, I kind of said, hey, do you want me to wait till the new catalog starts and then do your cards? And she um, knew that she wanted some things from the old catalog before it retired, as well as new things. So I thought, well, let's put that host code date uh, starting while the new or while the current catalog is and then as well as after the new catalog goes live and part of that is so that anybody that wanted to order would have those same options too and then also I know you guys so well <clears throat> when I am sitting in uh, in your homes and I'm demoing at a party and so many names come to mind um, you say it like um, not in a very nice way but it's always funny 
bell. I had my list already and then you made me change my mind. So um, coming up with ideas um, from the new catalog, even before the new catalog goes live, I'm hoping that maybe um, that might help your list making a little bit. So um, put it this way, the last thing I want you to do is make a list, order on the third, and then say I start making Dawn's cards on the sixth, then you go, seriously, um, I now want that, but I already ordered this and such. And so I'm hoping that that will help you make wise decisions or at least help your budgeting and stuff like that too. So um, you know me, I'm always like trying to be careful, cautious and give you lots of information to go from too. So yes, Becky, the sunflower is so pretty. I've seen it in so many different colors and it's great. Hi, Cindy. Hello, Sharon and Marlis too. Thanks for joining in. So I will get started with the sunflower card here and I'll get my camera moved around and I'll get my iPad on. So as I'm creating the card, if you have questions or comments, I can follow along and see those. And, um, and that way I can answer them right as I'm crafting along too. So just give me a second here to um, take my tripod and adjust that. Okay. So the first thing, hi Kelly, that I want to kind of point out is, oops, I don't want to get it so it's close, but not too close. The other day I felt like I was struggling with um, it almost being too close where you couldn't see as much as of my workspace, which is never fun either. So I want to make sure. Um, and you can see here there's Dawn's code, the CCSRRE C7. And so her code, um, uh, will run till the middle of June. It's already active and I do have another hostess so um, coming up. So Dawn's cards were Saturday and today's card number two and then tomorrow will be card number three and then the next day after that for three days will be my next um, hostess Linda and so her code will appear up here. Um, hers and Dawn's when I post um, today's card after my video on Facebook, I will put um, that paragraph with that code so you don't have to worry about, oh, I need to write that down quick. I mean, you sure can, that's why I put it there. Um, but this way it can kind of um, help you know why I'm doing this and such too. So um, yeah, Kelly, so you have that uh, marked too. Um, the sweet thing about this is my son and his wife had sunflowers um, as their theme for their wedding and all the colors that went um, for that. And so you think of it more as maybe a late summer flower, but I don't know. I just feel like when it comes to crafting and such, flowers are at any time are just a really um, pretty neat thing too. So um, they can be used anytime and I'm seeing, like I said, so many different color combinations with it. You can basically almost use any kind of color even though it is a sunflower too. So Celebrate Sunflowers has this stamp set with all these great images, lots of images of uh, the sunflower, different leaves, and then some great sentiments as well. And then of course, whoops, I just bumped my thing. Um, coordinating dies called sunflower dies, and so kind of gets sticky here. I tried to keep it apart. There we go. <laughs> so here's a few of the dies in there, and then the ones that I'm going to be using for my Facebook Live, I already have stuck onto my magnetic so there's the middle of the sunflower kind of the overlay and the greenery that I'll use too so like anything um, you can get the stamp set separate the die separate um, if you buy them together as a bundle of course then you have the benefit of getting the 10% savings so that is great too all right so then I always think how did I start this card to get it going okay so I think what I'm going to do is start with the card base um, and this is five and a half by four and a quarter, but you'll see that it's kind of folded a little bit differently. And sometimes when people see me do the long fold, they are concerned like that looks different, but just know that when it's closed, it is still that five and a half by four and a quarter still fits perfectly in the normal um, envelopes like we're used to too. And so the whole reason kind of why I was doing this is I knew that I wanted it to go this way and if I fold it the other way, like sometimes if you have a card that sits up like this 
it can over time, I have one sitting at my workstation, it kind of wants to go like that. So anytime I know that the, I want the design to go like this, the long way, then I cut it this way so that when it's sitting there, it will always be happy and not go flat. So that's just my two cents about why and how I cut my cardstock in which direction. So that is the also the new color Bumblebee. So Bumblebee, how fun of a name is that? So here's Bumblebee, da, 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 da. and it's one of the new in colors. And I'm just gonna take a sheet out, a full sheet here of Bumblebee. And I know this might be kind of hard just based on um, my lighting and such, but on top, I'm going to lay crushed curry. My friend Carol loves crushed curry. Hello, Carol, I know you're watching. <laughs> but anyway, so um, there we go. I'm gonna kind of put it in an angle. So you can see the crushed curry I use a lot in the fall because it's a deeper yellow. But what I'm surprised by is the crushed curry actually looks light in comparison to the bumblebee. So this is the bumblebee and this is the crushed curry. So kind of similar, but just a little bit warmer brown tone in the bumblebee. So um, like this is the part that kind of stinks about not being um, live in person um, at an event. If I was at Dawn's house and we were doing a party, I could pass it around. I could actually pass both sheets so that you would see the difference of um, what makes it look different um, in person versus in the catalog or um, that too. And then the other thing that I want to quick show you is this in good taste um, designer series paper. It's a really big stack. Um, a lot of the paper packs have just like the 12 sheets. This has um, 24. So yeah, it is double. And so they're double sided. I kind of did uh, more of a look um, at this when I did my catalog sneak peek. So I'm not going to do that again. But that's where this nice kind of old barn wood um, washed out look is coming from. And it's 12 by 12. I know in the past we had very popular, um, a very popular paper pack um, that had all these kind of woodsy looking things. And um, I love that this came back and that it's in 12 by 12. So that is exciting for me. So that's going to be the um, kind of the next step. And I'm just matting that to kind of give it some pop. Um, I could have put it right on the bumblebee like so, but I just thought it just adds a whole nother pop when I put that early espresso color underneath like so. So I'm just going to go, since I know that is how it's gonna play out, I'm going to take, oh, this is the back side. Kind of looks like a bathroom tile or a kitchen countertop or something um, on the back side. So I'm gonna just um, tack this down right away because I know that that's where I want it and I know that I'm not gonna be sticking anything underneath. And da, da 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 something else new is the Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon. So I wanna get that really close. This is so fun. So it's quarter inch um, size and it's um, kind of like the grow grain type, even though it's gingham, uh, the grow grain type of material. So it's very easy to tie. So I'm just going to Put a knot in that. You guys know me, I'm not fond of bows, although I have a new granddaughter and I've already seen a couple bows in her hair. So I have to probably get used to things with bows, but I'll stick with the knot today. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty exciting. We haven't got to see her yet. She needs to get a little bit healthier before she can come home, but she's really doing well and mom's doing great too. Okay, so I have um, just that wrapped around there like so. And then I'm going to take, when I uh, tie my ribbon on the back, I always kind of leave almost enough of a um, an edge so that I can put my adhesive right along there and that it sticks well, like so. Okay, and then that can go right on my card base. That's all ready to go. Okay, so I'm just going to set that aside. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is take um, this really large sunflower here, 
um, from the stamp set. And for inks, um, I wasn't able to purchase as a pre-order, you know, demonstrators get that ability and privilege of pre-ordering things. I was not able to order, pre-order, excuse me, any of the new in color inks. So I would have inked this up in the bumblebee color. I'm kind of inking that up. And then sometimes when it's a big stamp like this, what I actually like to do is just take and tap that like that so I can see that I've got the ink covered everywhere. Hi, Sherry. So I'm just going to ink that. So because I didn't, um, wasn't able to get the Bumblebee ink, um, I'm using Daffodil Delight. And when I ink that out, at first I thought, wow, that looks pretty, um, kind of crushed curry-ish, pretty deep, pretty dark. But then as it dried, I was really surprised how light it did get. I kind of almost did like a double take of, did I actually use the right color um, when I inked it? So it'll lighten up here as we go too. And then the next thing that I'm going to stamp out is the sentiment from the stamp set, let's celebrate you. And I'm just going to put that in the middle of a strip of paper. And this doesn't have to be anything fancy, no measurements, because I'm going to hand cut that out too. Hi, Marie. Hi, Amy. And then um, what I'm going to do without re-inking this at all, there's quite a bit of that uh, Daffodil Delight. I'm just going to um, put that down and kind of just tap that over top and that kind of just gives it a fun little background it really doesn't look like the sunflower it just kind of looks like a <clears throat> kind of a mottled texture which is kind of fun so by not re-inking it i know i'm not going to get too much on there so i'm just going to set that aside and next i'm going to do all of my die cutting so let me get to this ready here put my big shot on here and so hopefully you guys can see well today I'm never sure I don't want to monkey too much with the camera but I also if you if you're taking the time to watch I want to make sure that you're getting to see something too okay so um, with this the die whoops that's not the die I want I want the outside die because I want to cut um, completely this out so Probably the hardest thing is going to be finding where there's um, on the flower, there's a little bit of a space where it seems like most of the flower is going straight out or kind of angled, but there's a place here where it kind of switches directions. So then I just need to kind of find <clears throat> that on my die. And sometimes I just get lucky and the next time it's like, okay, that's not working out really well. But today, oh, yay. <coughs> Excuse me, I got lucky for sure. Okay, so I'm just going to line that up like so. And yeah, and then I'm going to put my cover on. And this is just for outlining the sunflower. So that will go through and it pops out great, pops out terrific. And then the next layer that I'm going to do is with um, that same bumblebee color. And I'm just going to take that, scoot that here. And this is more of a um, intricate or detailed die. So I'm just going to get that. I must have cut that pretty tight there. And I want to run that through actually a couple times just because it's more detailed. I want to make sure that I get that cut out really well. Oh, and it looks great. So you can kind of see my cutting pad is worn, um, but I can just probably lift that up and have most of that just kind of fall away. So yeah, you can see how it just comes out easily. I love dies that um, just release easily from the die and then all these little tiny pieces come out pretty easily as well too, especially with the take your pick tool. I'm not going to be really fussy about these extra little dots. You can, but I think it kind of adds a little extra texture by leaving some in and some falling out naturally on their own. I will probably have to check back on my die to make sure that um, that not too many of those tiny little circles are being left in there because that can um, plug it up where it's not going to cut out as well too. But <clears throat> I think this is really good for that purpose. Okay, so I'm just going to put that aside 
And then the next thing I need to cut out is the oops, center, which I'll use early espresso for that. And then because I have enough room, I'm going to put some garden green um, cardstock on here with just a couple of these dies. And this is a single little sprig, and this is kind of a double little sprig. And so I'm just going to put those side by side on garden green, and that fits really well with that. And I can just slide that through too. Hello, Shelly, hello, Tabitha, and hello, Lisa. So, yeah, I feel like there's more chiming in today or watching, and it could be that I'm here later, and some of you that normally would be working are like, huh, I'm home from work and just gonna sit down for a few minutes. And thanks for joining in. Okay, so I have these um, sprigs done in the garden green. And I think that's all for the die cutting. So I'm just going to set that aside and then um, just kind of do some assembling. So there again, sometimes I get luckier with um, being able to find how these line up one over top the other. But you can see how much yellower um, the daffodil turned um, compared to when I first stamped it. It looked more dark like the crushed curry, but as it got lighter, then it looks more like the daffodil delight. Um, and then with my glue dots, I'm just going to, where it's more solid, put about three, one and two and three on this and that's just going to be for that center area and then the rest I'm just going to let free float on there so then I have to find kind of where that break is there it is to line that up right on top like so so that's actually pretty easy and then I'm just going to take a couple more glue dots um, make sure I have the right side facing up because it does look pretty similar I'm going to do just two glue dots here for the center like so. And I thought about popping it up, but I think I want it flat because then I can pop up the um, sentiment or the greeting without worrying about that getting too high with all the card layers. So before I put that on, I'm just going to put kind of a little bit of a sprig right there and right there. And so that's gonna stick to the adhesive that I already have on there. And if you think, oh, is that really gonna stick? You can always go over top of it too, just before you place it on. And then that I'm just going to kind of put there. I wanna make sure that that doesn't go over the edge of my card and such. Um, and then this kind of just can, with the free float, I don't want it to be where it hooks the envelope when it's getting uh, put in or taken out, but it just kind of adds a little bit to have it not stuck down so much. And then I'm going to go to the sentiment and um, grab the right scissors. I have two scissors. This is for kind of cutting everything and then my other one for cutting the ribbon, which I already did. So, um, so far, so good. Um, I have kept them pretty separate where it's been easy to uh, cut my ribbon really nice and it's been easy to uh, keep that one sharp. So with this, I'm just going to, sometimes this isn't everybody's cup of tea, but I'm just going to cut around this Oops, hopefully I'm getting it in the camera. Um, and sometimes it's hard to know where I'm at while I'm cutting with the camera. Um, and I'm just gonna do kind of a little free floating um, cutout here too. So um, I'm just lightly going over the fun cursive words and then the ones that are more printed out, I'm just going to kind of square cut those like so. So it says, let's celebrate you. And you can see still some of that mottled yellow there from the sunflower that I just kind of um, stamped on there lightly. And then um, I know I've told you this, I love the edges of my dimensionals for popping things up. So I'm just going to take and just cut that strip off. And then I'm going to um, cut here and here so that I've got that nice little skinny piece. Pull off the back side here. Oops, I can get rid of my scissors. And then I'm going to just place that on one end and then cut off a little bit more. 
for the other end. Hi, Connie. Hi, Beth. Thanks for joining in. Okay, so I have just a little bit of the dimensional to pop that up there. And then for the card, I'm just going to put that. Actually, I want this to be a little bit more straight on. There we go. That way it kind of matches the other side too. And I want it so it all fits on the designer series paper, not going over the edge this time. Sometimes I play around with that, but more importantly, I want it straight. So there we go. Let's celebrate you. And then for the inside, um, the other sentiment, there's um, a lot of nice sentiments with the stamp set, but the one that I chose says, congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful. So it's like, well, that could be if somebody did something fantastic. It could even be for a birthday. You know, that whole new level um, can be somebody's next year of um, celebrating their birthday. So um, because this is a nice light inside, I'm just stamping that right on the inside, I'm not doing another inside uh, layer for that to get it any more bulky than what it is. But I'm loving this 12 by 12 pretty paper. I think the sunflower is just gorgeous and it looked like one of those that could be putsy but when I saw how easily this cut out, it's just like die cutting a whole nother layer. That's just what you do and it turned out fantastic. So I'm not bragging, I'm more like, oh, that like was better, easier than I thought. So um, let me get the camera turned around here. So, yep, so I can finish my little ending. Okay, so what I'm doing is, um, that was card number two for Dawn Earlbeck's um, uh, party, uh, virtual party that I'm doing, and card number three will be tomorrow, probably in the afternoon. Afternoons seem to work best around here and such, and uh, then like I said, the next days I'll start with Linda's. And so June 3rd through June 30th, you'd have to close by June 30th, but if anybody else is interested in hosting um, a virtual event or book party or some, something like that, hostesses will get an additional $25 um, of Stampin' Rewards on top of the normal benefits that they would get um, just with hosting at any other time. So June is a good time. There's the brand new catalog that starts June 3rd. Um with that too. So um, anybody that places an um, order through me or online using Dawn's card or any of the hostesses while I do these events, then um, th then you would get the three cards that I'm making from their party. I mail those out as a thank you from the hostess and I for ordering and then it gives you some inspiration in um, the mail too. So thank you Tori and thank you Maureen. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of how I'm doing these virtual parties um, and I know things are starting to open up not so much where I live but um, even as that happens I know it'll be hard for people to gather and touch all my stamps and such because the, the time that somebody touches the next person the next person it's hard to keep things clean like that so that's what I'm doing and in the summer I, I have always taken off of my stamp camps anyway so that doesn't feel so different but um, I still want to continue with virtual parties um, instead of going into your homes and gathering friends so hopefully this is something that can be appealing and actually even reach more people and inspire you and give you guys more ideas so you don't feel like you're missing out on somebody's party even though you weren't invited or don't know them so um, hopefully that can be fun so what I'm gonna do now is sign off and I'm going to upload my card and post all the specifics of what I used for colors of cardstock ink etc Accessories, things like that as well as Dawn's host code so um, yeah let me know if you have any questions or if you're interested in having me help you out with an event too thanks have a great day